To the surface with a strange feeling. It's a fantastic sight. You cannot imagine. You can describe it. You have to dive to, to have this so strange feeling. Among his discoveries was a vast granite lintel weighing 75 tons, which he believes to be a supporting beam from the ferrous. You can see even in this castle, uh, they used uh, the, uh, <coughs> some uh, very strong stones like the red granite from Aswan. You see uh, at the bears of the windows or the frame of the doors, they used ancient pieces of granite or clumps even in the masonry, exactly like the, the pieces we are in the underwater site to reinforce uh, the building itself. So we are on the place here, on the underwater site. This is a slip from where we, we jump into the water. Jean-Yves has been diving here since 1991. The vast underwater site covers five acres. His team continues to log the size and weight of every block. Deciphering the thousands of artifacts is a monumental task. The pharos fell amongst palaces and the other treasures of the once great city. So Jean-Yves and his team have a painstaking task of deduction. Using inflatable parachutes, they lift the huge obelisks and statues weighing many tons. One day they hope to establish once and for all how the forest was constructed. The world's tallest lighthouse was brought down by an earthquake. Nowadays